What is going on guys? How are you? And welcome back to the channel. George here and in today's video we're going to take a look at 10 affordable field watches. As usual I'll leave all the relevant links in the description box below and I did try to keep this top 10 list as affordable as possible uh, without compromising on uh, quality way too much. But before we get into the rest of the video do let me know if you enjoy these type of videos. If you have any suggestions just leave a comment down below just if you have any ideas or anything for future videos because I really do enjoy putting in the work and the research for the videos. Now let's jump into it. The first watch that we come on that we have on the list is the Casio HDA 600B 1B VF, and this one comes in at $17.45. This particular piece speaks for itself. I have this on the list because of the price, the name, and the history that Casio brings in a watch that costs so little. It brings a very legible, straightforward dial with a red hour hand, which is kind of cool, I think. And this is combined with a couple of dial combinations. It has bull bars for added protection that can be taken off if that's not your thing. And the dial is 42 millimeters. It has a 10 year battery and 100 meters of water resistance. It may not be to everybody's taste with those uh, bull bars, but again, I think it's a cracking little, cracking little watch for under $20. The second watch that we have on the list is the Timex Expedition Scout. This one comes at $41. The Timex Expedition is no stranger on the channel and for a good reason. I did feature this in one of my videos uh, recently. I'll pull a, put a link in the description in, on one of the corners there. Um, there's a huge combination of dials laid on in a similar functional style with a water resistance of 50 meters, 40 millimeter case and 20 millimeter lug width. Makes this watch great and functional for day-to-day -day use. Also, a lot of dial options and a huge um, range of straps as well. And it does feature the Indiglo function, which is the electroluminescent um, panel underneath the dial. And like I said in my previous video, you are bound to find one that suits your preferences. Watch number three is the Loris RXD 425L8. And this one comes at 54 pounds because I found it on amazon.co.uk or $69. Loris watches I feel aren't mentioned that much even at these price points, but this one stands out. It has a titanium case at this price point. Like I said, it shows how much value there is to have sometimes in these lower end brands. And the thing is that it's a bit on the smaller end, a 35 millimeter case and a thickness of seven millimeters. Also that in combination with that titanium case makes it super, super light. I think it comes out at 35 or 37 grams. And it has loads and loads of lumen on the dial and hundred meters of water resistance that adds to the functionality. And like I said, cracking little watch for under $70. It's amazing with a titanium case. The fourth watch that we have on the list is the Bertucci DX3. Now this comes in at $65. Bertucci is an all-American company that was started in 2003 and they only produce field watches. All the quartz watches in their range feature an all metal movement that make them super, super durable. In case you didn't know, quartz watches do have plastic, um, plastic components in them. And when a quartz watch breaks, sometimes they're meant to be replaced as opposed to serviced. All metal quartz movements are made to be serviced. So it makes it easier and they're actually super durable, uh, like I mentioned. This particular piece is has a lightweight resin case with 22 millimeter lugs and uh, only comes on a NATO strap and it has a 40 millimeter case. Uh, 50 meters of water resistance and it has it features Lumham also for uh, added visibility and you can get this in a uh, in a few combinations um, a few dial uh, combinations also fifth watch that we have on the list guys is the Pulsar PX 3189X1 Solar like the Loris Pulsar is also under the Seiko Corporation and also like the Loris there's a lot of value to be had at this price point this particular watch is all about the that blue dial that I think stands out and the second hands has a red tip that contrasts that dial color in a very nice way. You're getting a lot of value packed uh, in this watch with 100 meters of water resistance and a solar function and a power reserve of four months. Also as a low power reserve indicator when there is about a day of power left the second hand ticks once every two seconds. And like I said, it has very manageable dimensions of 40 millimeters um, in diameter, 11 millimeters thick and 20 millimeter lug width. And it, comes, and it comes on a leather strap. 
Also with a 20, 20 millimeter lug width, uh, it would be very, very easy to, to swap straps. The sixth watch that we have on the list is the Victorinox 249088. And this one comes between 96 and $110. Like the Bertucci that we looked at a couple of spots below and this particular watch is this particular watch's sole purpose is utilitarian not just by design but uh, also by build quality it comes uh, on a nylon strap 43 millimeter nylon fiber case well that's what Victorinox call it but I think it's plastic which is absolutely nothing wrong when you have a watch that is designed to take a beating an entire day. It has 100 meters of water resistance for extra functionality, loom hands, and in terms of movement, you're talking about a Quartz Ronda 515. So it's a Swiss movement, so it's pretty, accu pretty accurate, I think. Now at number seven, guys, we have the Seiko SNE 095P1, and this one comes at $105. This is the dressier option on the list, but still carrying that field watch aesthetic quite well, I think. It only comes on a metal bracelet with solid end links, sorry, with solid links, but like we're used to with Seiko uh, at this price point, I th it does come with the uh, hollow end links. Still, you're getting a nicely laid out dial with a day date function at the three o'clock position. And like most of the watches on this list, you're getting a hundred meters of water resistance. This is also a solar powered uh, watch and the movement, movement is packed in a 30 39 millimeter stainless steel case with a thickness of 10 millimeters and 20 millimeter lug width. At number eight, we have the Pulsar PM3129X1. And this one comes in at $88 or 67 pounds because I found it on amazon.co.uk. Uh, and yes, I did it. I did feature a second Pulsar on the list. But in order to keep it as low as possible in terms of price, I definitely had to take in consideration one or more uh, options from Pulsar, which like I said before, they do provide a lot of value, uh, especially at these price points. And this particular model was featured in my uh, previous video, the uh, top 10 great watches under $100. I'll provide links in the left or right corner of the um, video. And it does come on a slightly larger 42 millimeter case with a dial that looks busy at first, but with the chronograph subdials, it still looks uh, super legible. And um, it still features a 100 meters of water resistance. Like I said, the predominant feature on the list. It does have a chronograph function and the watch comes on NATO strap with a 22 millimeter lug width. Now hang in there guys, we are on the final stretch. We have the last two watches. And at number nine, we have the Orient Defender, and this one comes in between $124 and $144, and is the reference number FET0N001BO. And the Orient Defender is on the pricier side of the list, but not by much. Also, when you take into consideration the specs, and this one comes on a, with a 42 millimeter case that features an in-house 21 jewel automatic movement that doesn't hack or hand wind. And it is the first watch that we have on the list, uh, the first automatic watch that we have on the list. And it does feature a quick set date function and a day complication that is not quick set. Uh, quick set. It also has a 24 hour indicator on the uh, sub dial that indicates the 24 hours, like I said, on the um, dial. This could potentially be a deal breaker for some, uh, the fact that it doesn't hack or hand wind, but I think it makes up for it with a screw down crown that offers it 100 meters of water resistance. And the balanced layout of the dial in combination with the fact that it is automatic and the complications that it brings, I still make, I still think that it, it is a great addition to have. I still, I still think even at this, this price point, an automatic field watch with all those complications for $124, it's still a uh, decent choice. And the last watch that we have on the list, guys, at number 10 is the Seiko 5 SNZ G11K1. And this one comes in at $128. Had to feature an automatic Seiko on the list. This is probably the most expensive one that we have on the list. Actually, it, it is the most expensive one that we have on the list. And these models have jumped up in price a little bit in the last couple of years. And this Seiko comes with a, an all brushed finish 42 millimeter case that houses the 7S26 movement that doesn't hack or hand wind. For those of you that know the 7S26 movement and they are familiar with it, like I said, we are okay to buy a watch from Seiko that doesn't hack or hand wind with no extra additional functions over $150, probably even more. And why wouldn't we do it from uh, Orient? Nevertheless, we're here to talk about the Seiko. I was just using it as a reference. 
It features a screw down display case back with 100 meters of water resistance and it comes on a nylon strap with 22 millimeter lug width. And in my honest opinion, I think that the, the what think what makes this watch stand out is the raised chapter ring with the loomed markings. And I think for a watch for the uh, watch enthusiasts out there, even if this watch doesn't feature that many, I think it's still an amazing uh, piece and an amazing addition. I could have featured his younger brother. I can't remember off the top of my head the reference number. I'll put a picture somewhere around here for you to for you guys to have a look at but i went for this particular one because it features 100 meters of water resistance guys those are my top 10 um those are my 10 watches 10 affordable field watches if you didn't make it so far in the video thank you very much for listening to me if you did enjoy the video click a like a subscribe and leave a comment down below and tell me if you have any suggestions or if you um like me to make any more videos like this in the future because like like i said i do um do enjoy uh, doing the research and thank you very much again be safe and i'll see you guys again thanks bye